Good morning, everybody. Dave Wild here. I go as DJ Wild on my books. I am the author of GZ Tales, which is a collection of short stories uh, about the characters in my universe that I write about. And uh, there's 13 tales in here. No, I'm sorry, 12, because I can't count. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Let's see. Assassins with a mystery target. A man saves a small town with a guitar. A young girl's imaginary friend kills. Two heroic friends travel to the core of time and space. A young man in a wheelchair becomes a superhero. A postal worker is turned into a demon. Hey, watch the postal jokes. All that with two stories based right in Louisiana and an ending with a special note from the author, me. Hopefully, you're not going to want to miss that. You can get it on Kindle for 99 cents. Um, you can get signed copies from me right now. Contact me to find out how, if you would like that. doesn't cost very much. Uh, it's $8 with shipping and handling. And I will happily send that out to you with uh, some bookmarks that have cool artwork on them. Now, uh, I also wrote the novel Chessmen, Opening Moves, beginning of a series. And this story is about the royal guard of a distant planet that is forced to go on the run with their infant princess to protect her from the killer of her parents. And they wind up going up against uh, mercenaries. There's a price on their head. Uh, there's monsters uh, on planets that they go to to try and hide while they try to regroup and figure out what happened. And they go up against things and discover that there's more than a threat to just their world. It's a threat to their whole solar system. And this book gets it started out. It's first in the series, and the characters are amazing. You can find out more about them uh, at the Facebook page for Galaxy Zento. Just go on Facebook and search Galaxy Zento. That's Z-E-N-T-O. Um, might think that's a strange name. Now, Zento is uh, Japanese for journey. And um, that's why it's called Galaxy Zento. Hopefully the story will take you on a nice journey. And uh, so the universe is called GZ for short. And it's, it's a collection of, of heroes, villains, aliens, monsters, and all kinds of just incredible events and things. And my next novel is coming up soon uh, as a, a history of this universe called Chaos Rising. And that is also going to be the first book in a series. Excuse me a moment while I have some of my iced coffee. Yes, tumbler of iced coffee. Good. Now, I do lots of things with my universe. I do the artwork. I did the artwork on, on the books. And that way I keep it as much of, of me as I possibly can. Um, and that's uh, for another platform altogether. Uh, my, my platforms, our special interests, are in autism and multiple sclerosis. And <clears throat> I am uh, fully disabled with multiple sclerosis. Uh, I am a high-functioning autistic. A lot of people don't see it right away, but if you got to know me, you would see the quirks. Um, my son has autism, and uh, he's doing very well, but considering the fact that I'm a disabled dad, I want to show him, and other youth too, that just because you have a disability doesn't mean you can't do anything. So whenever I do this, whenever I get one of these done, I show him, and I say, this is what it means not to give up. That's what it means not to give up. So spread that story because um, I, I grew up and went through school without any of the supports 
that you can get now for autism. No one knew what the deal was with me. Nobody understood what was going on with me. Uh, they called me that screwed up kid and put me in the corner. Um, yet, uh, surviving that and abuse and severe bullying, I had jobs, I have kids, I have four awesome kids. I, I grew up and did things that no one thought I would ever do. So if, if I can survive what I survived and do this, think of what you can do with the supports that are at hand. Think of what you can do, because you can, and there are things you can do. You can certainly rise. So I always like to try and add that and, and bring that out to people because I think it's important. I think that we need to inspire growth. And there's a lot of people, the numbers are growing with, with autism and, and with multiple sclerosis. Uh, they're serious, they cause serious uh, issues in uh, developmental delays and uh, breakdowns in in the human body's ability to do things, and I'm just kind of bouncing between the two there with the symptoms, so that doesn't cover them both entirely. Um, but, you know, I, I really want to take uh, Galaxy Zento as far as I can possibly take it, and, you know, when my hands were more steady, I even made uh, figurines uh, of my characters so I could show people what they generally look like. Uh, because MS has really hurt my artwork, but uh, I'm not giving that up either. You can see a lot of that, by the way, also at the uh, Galaxy Zento Facebook page. You can get links for my books, both of which are available for 99 cents on your Kindle, or Kindle app, uh, at Amazon. But you can get the links to get everything, to find anything that you want to find about Galaxy Zento at galaxyzento.com blogspot.com okay galaxyzento.blogspot.com and I'll make sure that there's a link here somewhere that you can reach to that and I post on it fairly regularly to try and keep things up um, I told you that I made some figurines so I just want to show you that uh, I certainly did uh, this is uh, Warhorse and he's going to be in Chessmen 2 and you can see I put together some pieces. I used an old Heroclix figure. I'm a Heroclix collector. So for some of you who know what that is, it's a tabletop game over about comic book superheroes. And I make these totally for my own use. I wouldn't try to sell them or, or take anything off of uh, a Heroclix brand. Uh, though I wouldn't mind seeing my characters show up as Heroclix. Um, there's that. This is one of my Louisiana characters, the Gata. If I call him Gator, my wife corrects me. You can see how I put him together there. I used a toy on a gal gator head. And this, uh, from Upcoming Chaos Rising, is Nightwolf. I don't know how well you can see him because he's all black. But that was when my hands were a lot steadier. I was able to do those things. I have about a hundred that I built. Um, another thing people ask me is, why DJ? Why, why not just go by Dave Wilde on the books? Why go by DJ Wilde? Well, the reason for that is, for one, it's amazing how many Dave Wildes are out there uh, writing books. It really is. Uh, it's amazing how many Dave Wildes are out there, period, because when you Google Dave Wilde, you're going to get a lot of Dave Wildes. Um, so I go by DJ. Now, also, uh, in my teenage years, I went by DJ all the time. And it just kind of stuck. I mean, nobody really calls me that anymore. It doesn't bother me if they do. Uh, but it seems to cut down on, you know, when you search it, it cuts down a bit on uh, how many people will show up. Now, Googling Galaxy Zento will get you a lot more information. 
is you can Google it, and I've spent a lot of time building a pretty good internet presence. So you can find it that way. Um, <clears throat> you can Google GZ Tales, and, and you'll find it right away, too. So uh, good old Googling or internet search, uh, whatever you use, should pop it right up there. And I think that's uh, pretty much the the gist of of what I'm doing and where my books are available. Chaos Rising uh, hopefully will be available for the holidays. And <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes I have a hard time speaking, so you'll have to excuse me. I have uh, because of my MS, I have esophageal spasms. So when I do my videos, it's going to get kind of interesting, and I need to keep my good old coffee on hand. Well, now I need to go and do my household chores and try to get some more writing done and maybe even a little bit of digital artwork. So I hope that you'll come in and add the page on Facebook to your favorites. You can also find me, uh, Galaxy Zento or uh, Dave Wild on Google Plus. And I also post there, so if you're a regular on Google Plus, it is possible to find me. And um, there's lots of things that are going to be coming up, like uh, guest artists. We love guest artists. I've already had quite a few good guest artists. And uh, another book of short stories will also be in the works. So, thanks for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day, a great week, and we'll see you next time.